far as my strategy, if that's the right word, for a broadcasting, I've always tried to make it interesting uh, and the sport understood of what uh, is good, what is not so good, what is uh, uh, a, a good riding technique and what is not such a good riding technique. And I think that's all got to be put into uh, easy terms for everybody to understand. And undoubtedly there, there would be an approach that everybody thinks uh, equestrian sport is for uh, you know the richer part of society. It is uh, actually a load of nonsense because if you look at the people involved and the people who really want to work hard, whether it be riding, grooming, managing, you know there are lots of people who aren't rich people and, and they realise that you work hard and you can get as much out of the sport as the very rich. So you know I, I think it's a perception which we've got to work at in terms of media and, 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 and general knowledge really. I think you know we've for instance what the BBC do here I think is really good because they you know they go and, and talk to riders who are building up uh, to a competition like this and and they look at the people behind them and so on I think the more that people realize that you know if people work hard you can do this sport you don't have to have uh, millions of pounds necessarily to do it I mean I've come from a farming background uh, I, I'm a great believer um, and I hope I'm, I'm not talking out of out of the turn here but I'm a great believer that uh, networking, meeting people, talking to people, saying please, saying thank you, uh, all the rather old-fashioned uh, disciplines if you like I still think is very very important and I think the more we do that the uh, more we have a chance of spreading the word that this is an all-people sport when it really boils down to it.